hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i made this beautiful um resin wine butler and we're just going to get right into it um all the products that i use will be labeled in the description box below the majority of them came from um amazon except for the resin and the hardener i did purchase that from a brand called um faux rizzle and again everything used will be in the description um, box below anyhow um, this particular resin and hardener is a one-to-one -one ratio recipe i guess you can just call it a recipe so what i did first was i um put in these containers equal parts of the hardener first and then the resin and um, what I've learned is that you definitely definitely need to stir this together very very slowly to reduce the amount of air bubbles that um, you'll get and I'm gonna speed it up so don't think that I just decided to you know amp up the stirring after telling you to stir slowly um, I just decided to speed it up because you do have to stir this for at least three to five minutes and then the next thing that I'm going to do is um, separate everything into three different other containers and that's just because one part is going to be gold another part is going to be like a gray and then the other part is going to be gold foil so you're gonna see me do that in the next couple of clips Okay, so I did want to mention that the actual wine butler um, mold set that I got from Amazon actually came with the gold foil and I ended up using all of the gold foil it came with silver and gold and I used all of the gold for this particular um, wine holder just because that's it was literally the, the amount that um, I did need so I just wanted to mention that uh, so you didn't think that you needed to go out and get an additional amount of foil but you can if you decide to continue to make these um, and now you see me here mixing the two different um, pigments and then we're gonna get right into pouring <music> Okay, so the first thing that I decided to pour in was the center, which is the gold foil. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put in a good amount in the middle and save some to add in a little later. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is take that gray and I'm going to then pour that um, around what I just did, um, the gold foil on each side. But um, I will say I have seen that it's best to start from the outside in, but this was my first time actually making this. So the next one that I do make, I'll just go ahead and do work from the outside in. Okay, so now I'm going in to mix in the gold. Um, I will say <laughs> it's probably best to make sure that all your colors are mixed in before you start pouring. But like I mentioned before, this was my this was my first time doing this, so I know better for next time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and surround that around the gray um, on each side. And if you look at this one, you can see that the what I just poured is actually starting to slip. Well, not slip. It's actually starting to shift to one side, which is not what I wanted. But um, in the final product, I saw that it actually gave it some some type of character. So make sure you're working on a completely flat surface. I I wasn't, and it doesn't even matter for me at this point because um, I did like the the final product. But in the future, just make sure you're you're working on an extremely flat surface. So. Now you're just going to see me go back and forth alternating between the gold, the silver, um, and the gold flakes to make sure that everything is filled.
okay so as you can see both molds are filled and I'm just going in um, with ever with whatever resin I do have left and just pouring it or drizzling it at this point <laughs> over each mold and that's just because I didn't want to waste anything so that's all I'm doing here Okay, so after I'm done getting all the resin in, I'm going in with this popsicle stick and just manipulating um, the texture, well not the texture, I'm just manipulating I guess the design that I thought I was trying to maintain. And then after that I'm going to go ahead and hit both of the molds with the heat gun so that I can pop um, any bubbles that may be present. Okay, so this is actually the next day. I went ahead and just allowed all of this to dry for 24 hours. And while looking at the finished product, um, I noticed that it still needed like an additional top layer. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to mix in uh, two different types of glitter to add to the top. Now, the only reason that I needed to add an additional layer is because I didn't really, um, I guess, plan this out. I didn't measure to see how much resin um, each mold took. So this is just me trying to fix um, a problem that I didn't know that I had but again it just it came out better than I expected so I went ahead and mixed in um, those two glitters that you can see visible in the screen together and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour those onto both molds and repeat the same steps that I um, had already done in the first layer which is to um, use the heat gun to pop any other air bubbles although here you are seeing me you know use this popsicle stick to make sure that you know this layer is hitting all edges but again i'm just going to go in with the heat gun pop any additional um, air bubbles that may be present but i'm also going to take um this candle lighter that i use to pop any um smaller uh air bubbles that i can't see and that really just made the finished product um even better Okay, so I just wanted to mention here that this is a three mold set and you guys don't see me in this video um, creating the third piece and that's because on this particular day after I finished um, putting the top layer to this one it started raining so I had to go inside and design the third piece but that's the only reason that you guys don't see that um, in this video I didn't even, I didn't even get any footage of that because the lighting um, it just wouldn't have been the same so when you do see the final product yes there are three pieces you just don't see me designing all three pieces okay so here we are the next day for the fun part and that's unmolding um each uh piece 
and as you can see by this side it actually came out better than I was expecting um, again this was my first attempt I didn't really have a particular design in mind I just threw things together to see how it would turn out and I actually like the outcome um, and the glitter that I decided to put on the back actually made it look better than I was expecting so I went ahead and called this like a reversible um, wine butler because you can just go to either the glitter side or you can go to um, the side with the gold foil Okay, so this video would not be right if I didn't show you guys how everything looks laid out completely. So I went ahead and put, you know, some of my wine glasses uh, with it and it looks really, really nice. Um, I do have an Etsy shop where I did upload this onto. So if you would like to purchase this, there is a link below where you can buy that. Yes, your girl has an entire Etsy shop. So make sure you guys check that out. I do have some other things listed on there as well. So yeah, that's all that I have for you guys in this particular video. Um, if you enjoyed this, please make sure you thumb it up. Press that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until the next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.